Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is a beautiful day outside. And as you have probably already seen from to the, the title of this video, today we are going to be talking about vaginas. Yay! Um, so as you know, or if you do not, I am a professional speed waxer. So what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is wax every male and female that comes through my door and we offer um, head to toe body for both sexes. Um, now the reason why I thought of this video is because I have a lot of clients come in and the majority service that I do is actually the Brazilian. I probably do anywhere from 10 to 20 Brazilians in one shift. So in one day. So I see a lot of vaginas. Um, but I have a lot of clients that come in and they're actually like very, very self-conscious about their vagina or the way that it looks. And I just wanted to actually make a quick video, um, to show you a bunch of different shapes and sizes of vaginas. I'm not a professional artist, so you will have to bear with me when you see these photos, uh, because I did draw them myself, but I just want to show you that every shape and size is beautiful and you should love your vagina no matter what way it is. And maybe give you a little bit of education if you only have seen one specific type of vagina because for a lot of people you've only seen your own um so yeah without further ado let's quickly get into this and here we go so the first vagina i'm going to show you is the vagina that people think that every vagina should look like and if theirs doesn't look like that then it's weird or abnormal or they're really self-conscious about it um so this vagina I'm calling the Barbie. So this one is very, very, very uncommon to be honest. Um, not a lot of people have the very perfect, like very, very tight outer lips, kind of non-existent inner lips, and um, they're very close together and like just, you know, nice compact, like, you know, everything looks like a Barbie vagina. That's why I would call it that. Um, this one probably, I, I don't see very often and I don't think you should ever really compare if you have a vagina that is even slightly different than this to this. This is very, very slim to none. Um, I probably have like maybe one to 5% of my clients have this vagina. Um, so the next one is um, a vagina with larger outer lips. So this is what we have drawn here. So this is the lips. I kind of just shaded them in to show a little bit of like texture that they were actually able to move. Um, so they could be larger than this. They could be smaller than this. And then uh, the outer lips as well, the outer labia um, is actually, could be any size as well. Could be nice and flat and tight. Could be a little bit puffier. Could be nice and big. Um, so that one is kind of subject to any different size of outer lips, but it could be any size. Um, and yeah, with any of these types of vaginas or vulva, actually the vagina is actually inside the vulva is the outer part of your vagina. Um, but yeah, you could honestly mix and match any of these that I have in my hand here. But this is kind of just describing key factors of them. Like I said, every vagina is beautiful and you should love yours just the way you are. But yeah, you could definitely mix them. Um, so this one is the conch. So this is going to be kind of hard to explain with just this photo because I cannot draw size. Um, so basically how I described it is a large outer labia that touch and close off the inner labia. And the inner lips could be any shape or size. Um, they could be larger and kind of spill out of the outer labia. Um, and the outer lips kind of fold downward. So how I'm going to describe this is, um, so if this is a vagina, my knuckles here are the lips. So they kind of fold down in and then down in here where my thumbs are would be the rest of the vulva. Um, so they kind of close off the inner labia here and then when you're waxing, you just kind of move it over, wax the inside of here and then inside would be the inner labia and the inner lips. Um, like I said, you could also have large lips with that one and they could spill out of the outer labia. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I describe what would be like the conch, like a conch shell, it kind of closes it up. Um, the next one is also a little hard to describe, but just a photo, I'm not an artist, I swear, is the A shape. Um, 
So the inner lips, again, could be any size. They could be large, they could be small. And then the outer lips, they kind of flatten out and just kind of, they don't kind of come back into a full on closed C shape like we've seen in a lot of the other ones, but they kind of just flatten out and attach to the buttocks. So this is my little bum here, uh, but they just kind of flatten out and go downward. And then the inner labia is just kind of open there. But uh, that's how I'm gonna describe that one. <laughs> Um, so the next one we have is a separated vulva. So this one is uh, where the outer lips don't really come in here and tighten and close off the inner labia. They just kind of, they're just a little bit separated. This could be completely flat, flat, or it could be um, a little bit puffier. You could have a little like fatter inner labia, and I don't, I don't say fat like in a negative term like there's just a little bit more fat tissue that's totally okay um and slightly bigger like inner lips could be this again you could have also any type of inner labia here they could be a lot bigger um, but basically the key with this one is just these lips here don't quite close off the inner labia um, and then the last one here i have is the thick vagina so again this one not in a negative term at all it's just a little bit more fat tissue in and around the um, top and uh, outer labia here and then again could be any size of inner labia in the middle um, but yeah the main thing is like they're a little bit more squishy have a little bit more fat tissue in there and that's what I would consider the thick vagina again like I said there are so many more types that I just kind of separated into, what did I do? One, two, three, six, six different um, vagina or vulva looks. And I know that is not the extent of it because I see it every single day. Like I said, I do 10 to 20 Brazilians every single day and I see them all. Like I said, all of these could be mix and matched. Um, you could have a conch type outer labia and large inner lips. And there's two of those that I just drew out all like mixed together. Um, so like I said, this is not limiting. I'm just saying that if you haven't seen any of these shapes before, um, and you do see like, I don't know, like sometimes friends or if you're working in a place where you do see intimate areas, like I do myself, we will never judge you if you are coming to get a wax. I see different types every single day and I'm just saying like don't be self-conscious like this is what you are given and every single type is different or um, you know might be outside of this and this is definitely not common I think that people kind of put them into this realm of this should be the only vulva that is acceptable and it's honestly not and if like any partner or friend or esthetician tells you that you have a weird vagina because you have big outer li or inner lips then that is unacceptable and you should just love your vagina the way it is and that's basically what I wanted to get across in this video so if you are rocking any shape or size of these that I mentioned today give the video a big thumbs up um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love talking about this stuff, even though it gets people a little bit awkward sometimes, but I love it and I'm here to spread the knowledge and the love that you should be loving yourself any way you are. And um, if you want me to make more videos about my type of work, then amazing. Um, leave a comment, subscribe, and we will see you next Monday. Stay classy and a little sassy.